Hey guys, Tightrope here, bringing you a 2v2 today. We are on Wolfies. Plenty today spawning in the North FPS3, yes, with the British forces. We have commandos, special weapons, and mobile assault. Teaming up with him is Interloper with US forces, who has armor, infantry, and heavy cavalry. From the south, we have KPN with Grand Offensive. Look at W. And Stefan JF with. Ossia, Assault Support, German Mechanized and Fortified Armor. There's a few, you know, quite a few. Ooh, that's the rest of the building. This is uh, from January, I think, this replay. Um, a range team on the Axis side, they're around 250. Allied side, random. Uh, P3 is still has a rank. He's ranked 4 with Brits currently. Random 2s. And interloper around 210, I think, was the last non rank. Does not have a current USF ranking. So I tried to bully them out of the building. Might have worked if the rear echelon weren't there contributing from the side. Ended up being quite an expensive trade for KPN after narrowly losing that race. Rifle and charge in. Soft retreat on the folk street is while some support comes. In the two on one, they should be able to get the job done. Need to get them, yeah, right in. Can't stop it. Long range. Need the rifle sitting heavy cover. He did a retreat though from uh, KPM. Maybe could have, you know, continued pushing with the squad. Done some capping and sandbagging with the low squad on this point. Not a huge deal, right? Good suppression in there. I was keeping them pinned down. And eventually have to retreat. Just to that two model pyre. Bit of a scrap in this building. Don't know if you still got heavy cover back there. Never tested that. And we're very close to outside of point blank, I would guess. Never, I never looked into that more in depth. Of decent damage with the Fox Street is, but with the Rifleman getting in there, eventually have to retreat. Nice little cutoff play here, though, from Stefan. And so you can do a cheeky wire off there as well. Gotta be careful about his retreat, though, he needs to get out of there now, I would say. There he goes now. So three green ears, pretty standard stuff. Three. Rifles into Lieutenant though, not too usual to see Lieutenant in these team games. Bit of long range MG42 fire forcing back the rifles. Bit of damage onto the stern pyros and uh, we do have a rifle squad capping down at the bottom while all this action's going on. So it is the allies doing some sneaky work off to the sides even though they are cut off at the moment. Could probably take up a nice position with the rifles behind light cover and complete that capture. But the MG camped on this cutoff, really working well for the Axis currently. Looks like KPN going for one fewer squad than usual into an early battle group. Going for medics and mechanized. Put this in the middle so they could both make use of the healing, but looks like Stefan's going to build a mid bunker anyway. Maybe not strictly necessary, but alright. Cap in, you know, doing the team player job. The sector has been cut off. Mm -hmm. trying to do some work from the side, but the greedy is fending them off. The tank gets a little bit close, ends up getting suppressed there. Fox Street is coming in now as well, but this point has been resecured by the Axis. Should probably charge in to close range with both of these guys, but it looks like. Kapin's going to camp out the fuel point instead from long range. I think he could have won charging in there though. If you want to gain territory rather than just hold it. The enemy is attempting to steal our sector. Chasing away the green is. And now the machine gun. So the allies making a bit of a breakthrough. Took a while. The bolster online for PS3, yes. Oh, 
guys coming in here, but it's a tough matchup for them against the sections. Who, you know, four models, but full health on them with the uh, on field healing. Charging in here. The STGs are about to pop. Might be able to swing the engagement in KP's favour. In fact, early retreat there from Interloper, not taking the risk. Trying to win this fight over here from uh, maybe slightly better cover positions. Fusiliers now from Capen. Don't know where. He did uh, have a large hand in the design of this commander. A 2 2 2. A little bit on the late side, considering he only went for three greens. Probably been on the field about 30 seconds faster than this, but still reasonable. It's going to be an anti tank gun in response to PS3, yes. It has not gone for the AEC side tech. Snare off with the Royal Engineers. They can't linger. In fact, they could even go down. Ready to be issued for a raiding operation. Oh, the stopped firing. Yeah, might have been a slight misplay there from uh, Stefan. And now into an anti tank gun himself. No light vehicles from Interloper after going for the lieutenant, just a 50 cal. He hasn't actually got an ambulance either. Must be doing pretty poorly in terms of KD. Yeah, as bad as I perhaps would have expected. 22 coming across to this side. Oh, he went for a side tick into the captain. I was wondering where all his manpower was going. That's the answer. Double officer. Does of course mean he doesn't have to go for the mechanized stage of either. He still wants to go major later on. But I, I don't know, I feel like this isn't a particularly good map to have a bunch of infantry like this. Not the largest map. Unless you're going to go for maybe like an M1919 commander, maybe like infantry. Go for bars M1919s, I think that could be quite powerful. Heavy truck, ready for orders. On this map, in this situation. But most other strategies I don't think I'm on board with. Uh, if he was planning to go for this, maybe we was just going for one fewer rifle. Okay, we're getting a gl glider deployed. Taking a few shots on the 222 on its way down. Going for a behind enemy lines deployment. Fires fast to retreat. And a bit of pushing from the 222 here. Now suppression kicking in. Glider killed off, but AT gun did push all the way up. 222 forced away now as well. Do you think this is, you know, maybe a little bit of a waste of the glider? You can use it for forward reinforce. Might have been quite nice in a position like this for that function. Now he's running the AT gun down the road. Bit of a dangerous situation, but that is a almighty blob of US troops. Makes it nice and safe. And in fact, Capian, what's he doing? He's suiciding the Sturmpires into the US blob. Ouch. British one sneaking down the side, away from the building, going for some more fuel harass. Empires rebuilt by Capin, or in the build at least. Did see a sniper from Stephen's. Only got one shot off so far. There he goes, gets a second. Smoke out from Capin in a curious position for it. Guess he's worried about his Shrek getting pressured by the infantry, but it's not happening. They are diverting off to the side. That's a tremendous amount of infantry. 
Project 2 coming back out to the site. And uh, getting up close, doing a decent chunk of damage. No hard retreats though from P3S. I think that's given Stefan uh, a bit of a fright, worried about where the AT gun could be positioned. He did end up getting a couple shots on it though. Could even get it decrewed here with the sniper. Takes a shot. Oh, I think that was an attack round. And it comes good. Big plays there from PS3, yes. I think Stefan just needed to uh, pull the trigger and drive in on the AT gun. Could have got the decro on it. Still backed away through the arc again and took a shot slightly beyond max range. Definitely should have activated hold fire on 222 as well to try and disappear into the fog a touch quicker just in case it was a regular attack. Hard to tell sometimes with those ones right at the edge of the range. And the US blobs are still running amok. But the uh, protection zone from the Shreer saving the day. Decent amount of damage from the incendiary nade. Some Bren Mandos now for PS3, yes. Typically, I do recommend putting Brens on your sections first since the commandos can operate very effectively without the Brens. Lean towards each unit's specialization, but not a huge deal. Maybe feels like he's better equipped to uh, kill the sniper with the brains. Speaking of, there goes another snipe. Six kills now. Did go for a mortar as well, which, you know, could be quite useful against Enemy units camped behind sandbags. But you've got to be stationary for that to work. Definitely a tough start here for the Axis. We do have tier 3 coming up for Stefan. He is still a decent chunk of fuel away from a medium though and they keep losing control of that fuel. Both the Axis kind of going for a strategy a little bit lighter in infantry and uh, end up costing them. We can try to get something going here. not have the G43s upgraded on these fusiliers yet, and that's hurting them. We also have a mortar pit down for PS3, it's kind of covering the other side of the map in the centre. Looks like the Allies want to dig in on the other side. Away from his base. Completes the capture there, now on the retreat. Sniper up to 7 kills, nearly vet. Company command nearly completed. Big damage. We're gathering the fuel now. So about 25 off the medium for Stefan. KP initially going to go for an infantry support gun. I can kind of understand it, even though he's up against a lot of mobile infantry. You know, dealing with these units inside the building is very difficult for him without bleeding a lot of manpower and having to spend munitions. So he's looking for a more long-term solution, which I can understand. Did see uh, Interloper go for armor company, by the way. Not what I was expecting at all. So maybe we'll see some N10 shenanigans later on. So, you know, also a possibility. Though, yeah, whenever I built the bulldozer, I always kind of regretted it. Instead of just building a Scott. But, yeah, still a possibility. Interloper, wow, he's got a fighting position down here as well. He's really dug in, making it difficult for KPN. Recon plane up for Stefan. No anti air from the Allies, so it's going to be lasting for quite a long time. 
Going for a barrage. Maybe on this 50 count? Bit of smoke actually. Getting some decent hits in, but a bit of friendly fire perhaps as well. Good. Territory control down the far side for Stefan though. What else is going on? He's trying to push up through the middle with the sniper as well. Be careful though, that's a huge infantry blob coming across here. Looks like they got grenades as well. Suppression coming in from the 50 cal on the side and the KPN having to get out of there. It needs to go as well. Oh, it's a command tank from Stefan. Okay. Another unexpected unit. <laughs> so far, so bad. Hasn't landed a single good shot on anything. A flank from the Fusiliers, but here comes the bulldozer. And uh, that could even be a squad wipe here, considering. close to lucky 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 bit of uh, damage here onto the bulldozer Smokes out the machine gun as well. KPN running into some grenades here. Still has enough firepower to win though after all that. Good hit from the ISG also. Here comes his Panzer IV and Inslover does have one anti-tank gun. Not in position to land a shot here yet. Looks like Stefan's struggling on his side. We've got a Centaur out. Bit of anti-air. Tank's also taken a few hits. Six pound up to VIP 1. They still always bang even on VPs though at this stage, so in spite of the axis seem like they're struggling on resources. And quite even in the victory point department. Enemy threatening a capture point. Second machine gun now for Stefan. I mean I think it should be quite successful down his side of the map away from the mortar pit. Double machine guns. Damn a reasonable to idea. out down that side's coming down with the command tank as well Panzer four looking for a few angles pretty good hit from the bulldozer there but it ends up taking two shots that's the problem with it shorter range than the Scott it means you have to do uh, quite a lot more repairs the same amount of damage Fire flying both ways. Oh, tank and a T gun rotating to deal with the centaur. Remind the Panzer IV pushing through the middle, but there's a six pounder there. Second six pounder for both of the allies out now, so these axes will need some rocket artillery. Neither of them are particularly well positioned to go for it either. Guessing maybe Stefan wants to try a stall for the elephant next, so it's probably going to be up to Capen to go for a walking Stuka. Centaur coming in. Try and do some risky maneuvering against the pack. There's a mine right here. Run tank can occasionally penetrate as well. Capping more in the middle. Both teams trying to get some work done. Somehow did not trigger that telemine. Here comes the bulldozer now. And that also just going to skate slightly off to the side. Pack gets decrewed. Can't recover it with the Pios. They're down with three models who'd lose the squad. Another recon plane out for Stefan, but... Oh, the Centaur, what was that still doing in the mix? Extremely low, down it goes to the Rakesan. Good work from KPN. 
Well, that does mean the uh, recon plane's going to be up in the air for a lot longer. Okay, assault activated by PS3S. There's something going. He's not really assaulting though, he's just using it for vision. And uh, going to try and knock out the OKW truck. Engineer's going down. Uh oh, keeping retreating. Will it be enough for? He's got to retreat his raquette, and it's probably for the best that it. Oh, he ran right back into it with another squad. Oh, it does survive though. Got 10% HP left. Not a guaranteed kill on the OKW truck. <laughs> it's a guaranteed kill on the Fox Oh, he's got the heavy barrage coming in, though. Okay, the long-range heavy barrage. That's enough to polish it off. Oh, there you go. You had an idea. Oh, command tank blocking his own sniper. It's getting dangerously low. Smoke out covering the machine gun, but the command tank... Coming in for a couple good close range hits. Great close range hit, in fact, Rifeman getting very low. Down they got. Oh, it's the 240 mil artillery. Keeping hasn't really left the area of that. Be careful about that raquette and positioning. He loses a unit to this. I don't know what to say. Infantry squads ready for kidding, bouncing it's two shots in a row up. on the bulldozer. Does have a bit of extra frontal armor with that dozer, but I think it's like 215. Can occasionally get a couple bounces. There goes one shell. The four gun tree trying to defend the Rakitin, but. Tegan has pushed all the way up here. Oh, he loses a squad jumping on it, and it's quickly decreed yet again. Well, definitely Capin should be putting down his mechanized truck at this stage. Not much else for him to be investing in. And they could definitely do with the walking stuka against this kind of formation on the right hand side. Axis did lose control of the VPs for quite a while though. Decent lead now for the Allies. The enemy have 300 points. Recon planes are getting some great value without that Centaur on the field. They seem to be around action. Command tank pushing through the smoke, gets a reasonable hit. It's doing alright, 11 kills. And now it looks like Interloper's going for the double Scots. It does still have the uh, bulldozer though. Okay, he's got to be careful, can't really afford to lose that Panzer IV, he'd be in such a bad position if he did. And he's finally putting down his mechanized truck again. It's right on the edge of his base. I think the sector ends are out here. They could maybe be targeted by another air supremacy in that position. Do worry about it a little bit. But no, uh, yeah, it doesn't give him access to the tiger, but maybe the king tiger later if that's what he's saying for. He did decide to go for double ice cheese. A little bit low on manpower at this stage. Bouncing that shot. We have a second pack for Stefan, but it's on the far side. Get great hits on the dozer and uh, Dietry on the M1. Combining up with the ISG pressure. Just chipping away at the fighting position. Got some grenades being exchanged. They've been coming off worse. We can try and do polish off the 
AT gun but misses its shot and it's too much infantry pressure to linger any longer. Come back out with the Panzer IV now. The Comet meanwhile is getting right up close and personal. And some risky manoeuvring. He did drop down mortar cover. A bit of phosphorus on the field. From that. Nexus R falling behind on the VPs again. Meanwhile, we've got a muni cache out the back from Interloper. Interesting. He's kind of close to his pop cap limit once he recruits that dozer. The uh, 240mm artillery is not particularly impressive though. Don't know if he really needs to be saving for that. Maybe he's helping out his teammate though. He's 3 a little bit lower on pop cap. After losing that centaur. T gun decrewed yet again. Right position Enemy is down. To take one of our points. And they uh, bold move there, pushes up, kills off the decreed weapon. Okay. Four backing away. Oh no, MG dead. Nasty shot from a comet, it looks like. T gun a little isolated now as well. Where's the backup? back there, I couldn't see it. And uh, gonna steal that now. Panther is gonna be the option for Stefan. Interesting, not gonna save for the elephant, he was pretty close to it. But I mean the Panther could be quite successful as well up against Comets. A bit of chance of hunting down the Scott. Careful, he probably would be in snaring range if he took a Faust there. Going out with the AT guns as well. Just in the field. Don't think it's going to be able to go for the kill, or maybe it will now that it took an extra shot. He could pop up the recon plane and go for the chase down. We have a Piet squad though for PS3S. Smoke out from Capen. Looks like he's going for a King Tiger stall. Not quite there yet, though. And he needs manpower. A bit of a return heavy mortar barrage action on these ISGs. They have been vetting up nicely, though. Vet 3, Vet 2. Doing quite well. Axis have been slipping behind on the VPs, though. Pressure on the sniper. He's trying to soft retreat, but not taking the risk. Shot from the AT gun, but the commando's retreat smoke kind of covering it, preventing a second shot coming through. AT gun in a risky position. Keep him dropping smoke again. To the center, though. Pack D crude. Panther down the side. Into the middle, though, with it, and there's the comet there as well. Freshly repaired. Trying a few shots, but the double bird AT guns are right there. Testing the center. And here we go. Green D getting out. Oh no, Caping loser, Fulton guy. I think that was to a mortar. Ouch. I think so you ought to be careful up here, those Brit AT guns are very nearby. Before trying to blitz out to safety. And he gets out of there. Oops. There goes the kitten. Thank you coming in. Interrupting the repairs. Good hits in as well. T gun under pressure. Up in the sprint, trying to get out of there. And he does. Oh, the Comet again getting a squad by Brandy is down. Sniper playing a dangerous game, being so close to those scop barrages as well. It's popping off the incendiary shot. But it looks like the uh, 
LMG does get collected by the infantry section anyway. Scott still. Oh, okay, he's going for an M10. They'll pretty much round out his composition. Close to his pocket, but I think it was a 10 pop cap, right? Yep. Okay. AT guns on the far side. Axis in control. The VPs down to 171. That's the King Tiger for KPN. He's got the Panzer Commander upgraded on as well. So just looking for that Vet One now until he gets that Supreme Spearhead mode rolling. Got a hull down action from uh, P4 Command Tank. AT guns are there. Not quite Vet 2 yet. It's not a mega threat. Kind of struggling a lot more now that the Panther has arrived. It's good news for the Axis. They needed some breathing room, getting so far behind on the VPs. A little bit surprised Interloper has not ticked weapon racks on his infantry. As I said, like this isn't very good artillery, so why not go for the weapon up? Upgrades is pretty much pop cap now as well. It's a good time for it. And this six pounder is not getting the job done at all. Cheeky attack rounds there from KPN as well. And what are these guys going to do against the tiger? Nothing. Tina in some trouble. Bit of uh, artillery coming down from Interloper. i buy a bit of breathing room. Waits for that M10 to arrive. That's particularly good. And he loses a squad in the middle, down to just one rifle now after having three initially. We can't plane up again. Oh, just a smoke plane. Using that to try capture. Yeah, seems like the Axis have turned the corner. This so is struggling a little bit in terms of manpower. Hasn't been able to save up for enough comets. Damned enemies trying to take a point from us. Shots trading here and there. Doing well, though. Dr. Scott's coming out for a barrage on this AT gun after the reveal to South. Going for the cap on the far edge with the reissue on the KTs. Just about repaired back up. It does escape alive. So far, though, pretty good job from all sides keeping their anti tank guns alive. Be like a breakthrough, you know, where one team knocks out a kill, so kills the decrypt weapons. It's going to turn the tide, I feel. Huge value from those recon planes, though. It's definitely a big issue. MG down. Repaired action working on the Panther. He's coming in for a snare. Stefan asleep here. Oh, he could be in some major trouble. Pits are going to continue the chase. Good phosphorus usage on the pack. Looks like maybe the two models out the back, though, are actually not getting hit by it. So it's not going down too fast. Mortar in a bit of trouble here. Vet on that KT. He's got the walking Stuka out now as well. It's a recipe for success for KPN. Starting up the barrage now. See that Sis Fusilli of Flare. The machine gun. Okay, connection. Doesn't quite land on the Ambo. 
Oh, and the Panzer IV sitting there. P3 swoops in and takes it down. Unfortunate. Ah, it's just a distraction anyway. You only need the King Tiger. Vet one now. GG. Doesn't have the heat shells, but doesn't need them too much. Trading against US armor, at least. Oh, I think the Kate King Tiger has 210 max penetration, so maybe it could bounce. Absolute max range on the dozer. 5% of the time or something. Oh, that's okay, well, Keeping just going to go for the tech rebuild now. Understandable. They were for it out for Stefan now. You see that that was going to go poorly for the captain. No. Gets away alive at least though. Exchanging grenades, both connecting pretty good. But where's the Scott going? Whoopsie. KT hoping to get a final shot in. Bit of worth for action out the back, knocks out the rear echelon and the Scott does go down. Well done there by Capin. Meanwhile the mortar pit's blasting them out the back though. Sniper, fit 3 Difficult to stop. He's gone for a rebuild on the Centaur though. Really wants to shut down those recon planes. Stupid. Not really hitting too much though again for KPN. A little bit of damage on the mortar pit, but don't really want to be targeting that with it until you get Vet 1 and use the uh, incendiary rockets instead. Complaint shouldn't last too long against that centaur. So it's good news for the uh, Axis at least. I mean for the Allies at least. Buy some a bit of breathing room. It looks like it's gonna be another M10 for Interloper, so he's not. And he's just decrewing them out the back here, by the way. So uh, he's cooking them up. I have seen these strategies. I remember Captain Price doing this in tournament against Helping Hans, I think it was, way back in the day. Saved up a good five or six of them. Went for a big all-in. Did not work. <laughs> so, uh, it had the potential, but it's just so hard to control so many tanks effectively. Cool. Getting out of there though. The the Tiger rolling up. Ooh, nasty hit on the AT gun. No hope for escape. And that's what I was talking about. Those moments are where one team starts to take the edge. Speaking of, happening perhaps on the other side of the map as well. Stefan losing his AT gun. Nothing really to follow that up though. Beat the kill. Got a little bit too low as well to really do anything with this. Oh, he could gammon bomb it. Hard to see. I think it's low enough to die to gammon actually. Swoops in and knocks out the other one. Trying to finish it off. It's a bit greedy with the Panther right there with Blitz too. It's dangerous. Kipian loses his Rakit and meanwhile looks like to the mass artillery the Scots in the mortar pit. Way off in the corner though, those M10s. We cruise it with the stern pies, that's expensive. I think they're doing some dangerous maneuvering. Pops smoke, trying to extract himself, taking as little damage as possible. 43 kills on the sniper, had a bit of a slow start, but very well at this stage now. 
could try and sneak forwards with the commandos though. There's a lot of light cover everywhere. Could get right up close on it without being detected and go for the kill. KT. Hungry. Looking for more damage. Complaint up in the air again. Oh, there it goes. Shot down quickly by the centaur. Strike though, found the mark, knocked out the ambo. Ouch. Bad news. Interloper. Oh, the mortar pit's getting chipped away at. They want to save this, they're going to need those M10s. Spray soaking through a good chunk of the damage. The AT gun's coming through. Or maybe it's not. Opening up on the Panther instead. Bulldozer are coming in from the side. Could pop some smoke to perhaps assist here. Waiting a few hits here. Combat and the Panther. Trying to get in snaring range. Does not work out. And there goes the mortar pit. Tiger getting the job done. VP's almost bang even now. After access with a long period of triple cap action. He's recrewing the M10s. He's got five of them together. It's going to be way over the pop cap limit now. Let's see what he can do. Don't know if the recon planes would have seen that. Got a Firefly now for ps yes. So he is also kind of turned a bit of a corner. Should be able to fight back very effectively against the Panther now. What are the allies going to do here? Could probably see some uh, usage of these abilities. They both have crazy amounts of munitions stored up. We need to get on these VPs, those triple cap. It's a hurt in the badly. A bit of a whiff a strike out the back. Doesn't look like a hit too much though. The T gun decrewed. Is that Firefly though? Comet trying to get the kill shot on the sniper that it missed. Making a cap attempt though through the center. Where's that Firefly going? He's doing all sorts of maneuvering. 240mm artillery though getting dropped down on it. The kitten retreating. Here comes the walking Stuka. This could be nasty. Ooh! Oh, big shots, and here comes the M10 train from the side. Kintaiga all of a sudden in some major trouble, needs to pop the AP rounds on these. Oh, he doesn't have to get one on most of them. Circling around, and that King Tiger is mega dead. Fusiliers go down, Capen just getting completely overwhelmed by the M10 fleet. And that was a clean kill. The Panther's coming across here, but I don't even know if he wants to be in this zone himself. Firefly's coming back in. Now all of a sudden the Panther in some desperate trouble. And there that goes. A T gun under pressure. One M team goes down but just the one so far. A bit of a gammon bomb. And the M team's continuing on their path going for the command tank kill next. Finally got V3 on that but it's not going to be lasting long. Trying to get away with this Werfer as well. Oh my god, that was like four bounces and a miss. Extremely good luck for the command tank. And the Comet going in for a dive, wants to finish it off. Got a fresh elephant out from Stefan. But uh oh, does he still have vision? Flies out of Phosphorus. Elephant's right here though for the kill. M10s meanwhile backing out for repairs. chase it down or maybe the Faust no it bounced so it didn't get the kill but the elephant attack rounding through the smoke gets the job done well executed speaking of though KPM put his Schwer back on the field 600 munis just saying could have gone down KPM really 
suffering, but he's got a lot of resources. Could rebuild. Maybe waiting for the King Tiger cooling timer to wear off. Where was Stefan going with that Werfer? I've no clue. But he donates it to the Allies. They're happy. Take it. One now on the Walking Stuka. It's been medium. Got that one great barrage while all that action was going down, but apart from that, not too impressive. He built on a Rakesh. It's going to be a choice for K Pen. He's going for a regular Tiger calling, not King Tiger. And Tin Fleet is back healthy again. Cowering away from the elephant. Don't want to take any free hits here. Looks like they're going to come in for a big old move down the side again. Allies in control of the VPs though. It's still with a small lead. Capping up two of the three currently. It's got quick to back away. Still has that bulldozer. A bit of attack ground work there from K-Pin. He has been doing well with the attack rounds this game. Okay, we've got assault activators. And uh, yeah, it's going to be another strike on the Shreya. Did open the door for this to happen by building it on the field yet again. Will it be enough to kill though? Definitely enough to kill the VIP 4 ISG up the back. Oh, hanging on by a pixel. Does not have the mortar pit to finish it off this time though. Good hit from the elephant. Centaur's got to be careful. M10s are mobilizing, they're getting something going. Most of them are vet now. He's got another M10 in the build. Can't pop it out though, he's maxed out on population. Can't play in the air, Centaur is alive. Shoots that down quickly, but it did reveal the commandos that were trying to sneak around in camouflage. Be able to win this with the sniper right there. Army commandos ready to go. Smoke out from Cape Hen. Stuka maybe on this MG out to the side. Not sure what that was uh, aimed at. Didn't really hit much at all. Sniper in some trouble. Captain getting some big hits, even with the light cover there. Let's we'll survive. The T gun decrewed out the back by the Grenadiers. Centaur's coming in. Maybe trying to bait the elephant forwards for the M10s to catch it overextended. Fresh Panther now though for Stefan though. Well, Lieutenant dead in the, in the right. What is that commando squad doing? Oh, he's trying to finish this off with a grenade, but already repaired back up to full. He's got another Air Supremacy coming in though. Forward, he's down to the... Bulldozer. Firefly angle. Maybe spotted for by the Major. Is this one going to be enough? Yes it is. Shreer down. Searing artillery over here as well. Okay, Sherman's out to the side. The intends are looking for their mark, but they can't find it. The smoke plane may be revealing the intends positioning, so they're backing away again. The tiger, though, that could be a juicy mark. They appear not very well defended. Just M10 swarm. Very tight on the VPs for both teams, but mainly the allies. 
Triple cap against the axis at this stage, however. It's just all about waiting for that M10 action again. Oh, green's down. Smoke out trying to cover that central cap. The side guarded by the machine gun axis. Feeling a bit desperate. The Panther's going to come onto the far side of the map. Go hunting for something. Kills off the glider immediately with the elephant. Doing some capping now as well. Stuka. For the MG. Pretty good hit on it. Everything else dodging effectively though. Okay, Panther's switching sides. The M10s are right here though. Firefly also taming him. Major artillery coming down. Under fire. So close on the victory points at this stage. So any team's game. I do have a bit of an army size lead, but not by a tremendous amount. It really does come down to these M10s, and here they go. Off to the side. Shoot the rockets on the tiger, gets it quite low. Rifman dead though in the capping attempts. M10's coming in hot from the right hand side. And uh, they're going to go for the elephant which did push into the center going for the firefly. And they got a uh, head of steam up. Most of them with the speed boost active. P4 goes down immediately. Mine triggered though. Slowing them down. Trying to get some rear armor shots. Elephant very low already. Tiger's up here assisting. So is the... Firefly though getting some great hits from downtown and what a move there from Interloper Cleaning out most of the Axis armor just the Tiger remaining now Stick off the Tiger could go down to the pits Oh they bounced I would have both pinned if that would have been enough I'm not sure and Tim did die all the way out here maybe to a mine maybe to an anti-tank gun Either way, it was a good move from Interloper. Accidentally pushes his teammates' units out of the capture circle, though. Still incredibly tight on the VPs. It looks like the Axis are going to use that time to throw in the towel. They are way down in the pop cap count. And uh, that'll do. Well, <laughs> entertaining match. You know, the Axis definitely had a struggle early on. I think, you know, Stefan going for three greens, going for the medics. Had a bit of a slow start. Seemed to overall hurt the Axis. Same story with Capian, only going for three squads in the very early stages. Going for that late Fusilier. No light vehicle. Kind of hurt the Axis start. Slowed them down until the medium tank phase, but. After that stage, even things out quite nicely and even start to pull ahead into Loper, just slowly and surely losing to that King Tiger. But the MTM swarms, he was saving them up for a good like quarter of an hour before he decided to deploy them. And both times he had great results. Uh, well played. And yeah, that was a very entertaining one. Hope you all enjoyed the action. Uh, nice cruisy M10 place. You know, that's one function of the D crew. I think these guys only cost four pop cap, whereas the M10 costs 10. So, you know, you can save up like this and eventually get overwhelming numbers. Well, anyway, guys, wrap on that. If you like, go again, be cast by me. Details in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you off the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck.